Welcome back to another edition of Virtual DJ Tips. Today we're going to talk about the limiter for a quick tip. Now the limiter is a tool in the software to help you and help the software keep a nice, clean, undistorted signal. Now you may wonder what a limiter is if you've never heard of it before. Basically an audio limiter reduces the dynamic range of a signal. Now this means if a bass is too high, it might kick in the limiter. It will reduce that frequency, cutting it right off so the signal doesn't distort. A compressor does the same thing, but it gradually reduces the signal while a limiter completely cuts it off. So let's see how it works in the software. Up in the top, you have a master meter here. You press play on one of your decks and the master meter is about halfway. You start your other deck and it starts getting a little higher because you've got two signals going in now. It's trying to make it at zero decibels. If you increase the gains on both of these decks at the same time, you'll notice that the limiter is squashing the signal. It's just, it's compressing the signal. It's cutting it right off. So what we have to do is we have to reduce our gains or our volume in order to not trigger that limiter. Now a limiter is a tool that's here for you to make sure that you're not clipping. So other ways to deal with it is you could drop your volumes down on your decks and you can watch the master. Alternatively, we can move our volumes right up. If that's the kind of DJ you are where you like to have your volumes right up, you can go into the master panel and simply reduce your master volume to halfway. And that'll keep it from clipping as well. So there's a couple things that you can do there. Also, if we just stop these tracks and we go into our configuration menu and type in zero, there it is, comes right up, zero dB, we can increase the headroom of a signal by changing this value. Now one equals 100%, so we can change the value to like 0 0.75, which would be 75%. Therefore, reducing the overall gain of the next track that you load into the deck and gives you a little more headroom so you don't have to reduce your master volume. So if I just load both these tracks back into the decks, so or should I un unload the decks here first? I just throw these tracks back into the decks and make sure that our master volume is turned right back up. Press play on the decks, get to the louder parts of the songs. You can see that we've actually reduced on the master meter here the amount of output that is going to the master signal. So this was all done by adjusting headroom. So that's an alternative as well. Another tool that you can use that's very cool is your master view meter. You can actually right click on it and you've got show view meter which is basically your signal or you can show output levels. So if you show output levels, and we get into a louder part of the song, once we reduce our volume meter, you can see as we adjust the fader, the signal travels with it. Now with the other one, which is your view meter, this is the gain. So if you adjust your gain, you can watch it drop down and the volume fader on that deck will not adjust the view meter at all. So that's a tool there that you can use, uh, show output levels, and then you make sure that you're never clipping. So if we press play on the other deck, we can mix our signal in pretty good for a master output. And you could reduce them both. That is the signal that's actually going out the master output. So that's a little trick there as well. So there's a couple things that we can go over here. We can, uh, we can adjust our master outputs and we can move our faders in correspondence to what those output levels are. We can go back into the master, we can change the master, or we can go into our settings and we can go zero decibel and change our value to whatever you want to have it at. Uh, anything that's a value of less than one. So 90%. Anytime we load a new song into the deck. Our 
our master output's affected. So if you do need to have more volume and you need to really pump out that bass, uh, the best thing to do is to turn up your amp or your powered speakers to compensate for it. The last thing you want to do is have a distorted signal at the source. So being distorted coming out of the software means it's going to be distorted coming out of your amplifier or your powered speakers. So that's today's quick tip. I hope I explained the limiter a little better for you and you can understand it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, feel free to subscribe, and share it with your friends. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.